Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about how we can integrate this expression. So usually we can use a U sub or trigo sub, but in this case, it doesn't seem to work very well. So instead, I'm going to let X be ln U. Okay, so it's a logarithm sub. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen after that. Okay, so if you dx, you get 1 over u du. And that would become the uh, integral of e ln u to the power of 3 square root 4 minus e ln u square times 1 over u du. Okay, so you're going to get something like that. Okay, so let's try to simplify further. This is equals to e to the power of ln u cubed is just u cubed, right? So u cubed times 1 over u, that is u squared. Okay, and that will be 4 minus u squared du. Okay, so from here, we can introduce a trigo sub. Okay, so I'm going to let u be 2 sine theta. Okay, and du is 2 cosine theta d theta. Okay, so this expression would become 4 sine square theta times square root of 4 minus 4 sine square theta times 2 cosine theta d theta. All right, so we are going to replace the du with 2 cosine theta d theta. Okay, so upon simplifying, right, you get uh, 8 sine square theta times cosine theta times 2 cosine theta d theta. And that is equals to 16 sine square theta cosine square theta d theta. Okay, which we can simplify further to 16 half. Right, so it's a double angle formula. Okay, so we get something like that. Okay, so let me use the space up here. Okay, so this becomes 4 integrate sine square 2 theta d theta. Okay, which then becomes 2 integrate 1 minus cosine 4 theta d theta. So again, I'm using double angle here. Okay, so just, just take note that cosine 4 theta is 2 cosine square 2 theta minus 1. And it's also equals to cosine square 2 theta minus sine square 2 theta. And you can also express it as 1 minus 2 sine square 2 theta. Okay, so I'm using one of them. Okay, so that simplifies to... Oh, in fact, we can start integrating, right? So this is integrate of 1 is just theta. Integrate of uh, cosine 4 theta is minus 1 quarter sine 4 theta plus C. Okay, so now we can bring back... Uh, x so let's let's find out how to bring back x so theta theta is actually uh sine inverse u over two right okay but well just let me write this out first so this is two theta minus half sine four theta right, plus c okay so theta is okay so let me just do a little side working here okay so sine theta is u over two Right, so theta is sine inverse u over 2. Okay, so this is 2 sine inverse u over 2. And what about sine 4 theta? <laughs> okay, so sine 4 theta, uh, we can actually break it up. You know, there's quite a lot of things to break up, actually. Okay, so I'll just do a side working here as well. Right, so sine 4 theta is 2 sine theta, oops, sorry, 2 sine 2 theta cosine 2 theta. 
right, which is equals to 2, 2 sine theta cosine theta times, so double angle for sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. And uh, for cosine 2 theta, I can convert it to maybe 2 cosine square theta minus 1. Right, so that's the double angle for cosine. Okay, so if you simplify this, this will be 4 sine theta cosine theta times 2 cosine square theta minus 1. Okay, so that should give us 8 sine theta cosine cube theta minus 4 sine theta cosine theta. Okay, so sine theta we already know, right? It's u over 2. Okay, so what is cosine theta? So I'm just going to draw a right angle triangle to help me out here. Okay, so this is theta. Okay, so sine theta is u over 2, so opposite hypo. Right? So this should be 4 minus u squared square root. All right, so cosine theta is equals to adjacent over hypo, which is square root of 4 minus u squared over 2. All right, so that is cosine theta. Okay, so let's let's replace everything here. Okay, so this will be a half half of that. Okay, so half times this. All right, so this is sine four theta. So half times sine four theta would be four sine theta cosine cube theta, and this one would be plus. 2 sine theta cosine theta, right, plus C. Okay, so this is, okay, I'm going to bring back the X for this guy first, right? So U, what is U? Okay, so if you go back to the original substitution, X equals to ln U, you realize that U is actually E to the power of X. Okay, so this is 2 sine inverse E to the power of X over 2, minus 4 sine theta, sine theta is u over 2. Okay, and cosine cube theta, uh, cosine cube theta is the cube root of this whole thing, right? So 4 minus u square over 2 cube. Okay, plus 2 sine theta, which is just u, times cosine theta, which is square root of 4 minus u square over 2, right, plus c. Okay, so let's simplify things a little bit more. This will be 2 sine inverse e to the power of x over 2, and negative 4 times u over 2 is negative 2u, right, negative 2u. But u is e to the power of x, so I might as well just write e to the power of x, okay? And then times the cube, the cube of this thing. So this is square root of 4 minus u square. Right? u square is e to the power of 2x. Okay, e to the power of 2x uh, over 2 cube. Okay, plus, okay, I'm just going to write it here. There's not much space left. All right, plus e to the power of x times square root of 4 minus e to the power of 2x over 2 plus c. Okay, so more or less, this is the answer. So if you want, you can simplify it even further. Okay, so this is e to the power of x over 2, and 2 cubed is 8, so negative 2 over 8 is negative 1 quarter. Okay, so that is if you want to simplify the answer. Okay, so square root, and then there's a cube. It will be a power 1.5. Okay, plus e to the power of x over 2 times square root of 4 minus e to the power of 2x plus c. Okay, so that should be our final answer.